Hi everyone, it's Mackenzie here with another Make With Me Wednesday. Today I am featuring the Daffodil Afternoon Designer Series paper from the Celebration brochure. So Celebration is going on until the end of this month, February 28th, and with an order of $50, you can get this Daffodil Afternoon Designer Series paper for free. A neat thing about this particular paper is that there is a bundle in the mini catalog that coordinates with this paper. It is called the Daffodil Daydream Bundle, and it is priced at $54.75. So you could get this bundle and earn this paper right away for free, or you could pick any of the other awesome products in the um, celebration brochure, but um, it's really cool that this paper coordinates with that bundle. So let me show you what is in the bundle. So the Daffodil Daydream stamp set is a cling set and has a couple sentiments in it, some daffodil images, and then a few other extra images. And it has some matching dies, the daffodil dies, and there are a whole bunch of pieces in here. So you can build your own daffodils by cutting out the different pieces. And some of these cut out the daffodils from the stamp set and um, the butterfly as well. So uh, I won't be using the dies today, but there is a lot of cool things you can do with this bundle. And then for the paper, it's a 12 by 12 pack and you get uh, six different desi double-sided designs, um, two of each. So there's this fun, bright, multi-floral pattern with a grid on the back side. There's this one that seems a little funny that it has a pattern at the top and bottom, and this is actually the pattern we'll be using in today's card. Um, and you can cut it in the middle and have the sections at either end to be on your card. And then on the back is a fun diagonal stripe. This one is a lot of greens with a little bit of the pale papaya color in there for some of the flowers. And then we have some hearts on here and it looks like a pear pizzazz color. It's a light green, but very fun heart pattern. Here we got some more daffodils filling up the whole page with some pale papaya, kind of a textured dot pattern on that back side. This one is just all yellow and um, a little bit of vanilla for that outline of the daffodil pattern. And then we got a black and white, actually probably a black and vanilla <laughs> pattern um, with the little plus signs all over there. And the last sheet has some daffodils and I think probably daisies going across the whole pattern with uh, a neat yellow kind of diamond hand-drawn design on the back. So those are all the different patterns in the paper pack. And now let me bring in the card that we'll be making. So this one is a simple card that uses that designer paper. I added a little bit of the brushed brass butterflies just to give it a little accent. And then um, I used a little strip of the paper and a little stamp in the corner on this card. So to get started, I'm gonna bring in what we need. So I am using mint macaron for the card base. This is 11 inches by four and a quarter, scored at five and a half on that long side. The designer series paper for the main piece is five and a quarter by four inches. And then we have this little strip that actually comes from kind of that top portion. And I'll show you how I got this cut in just a moment. And this strip is three quarters of an inch by four inches. For the inside of the card, we'll need some very vanilla cardstock that is five and a quarter by four inches. And then two scraps of vanilla cardstock that we'll use for punching out these ovals. And so I'll share a little bit more about these once we get to the stamping and punching part. But first I want to bring in the designer paper. So I already have part of this cut and this was the full 12 by 12 sheet and I cut it into four inch panels. So you can kind of see how this looks. So each section is four inches wide and then the designer paper here and the other one is 
tucked in here, so there's just gonna be a blank spot right now, was from this middle area, and I just flipped it over to use for the card. So to cut this, I'm gonna bring in my paper trimmer, and I'll show you what I did with just one of these four inch strips. So this is the main portion that we want for our card. So I'm gonna have the flower pattern on the left hand side and stick it in my paper trimmer at five and a quarter inches. So once you get that lined up, go ahead and slice it. So that would be the main portion for your card front. And then with the remaining piece, I'm going to rotate it so that floral pattern is on the left hand side again. And just like before, slide it in and line it up at the five and a quarter inch mark and give it a slice. So now we have our two pieces that we can use for the card fronts. And then we're left over with this piece that is about one and a half and four inches. And so to cut this, I'm going to center it on the trimmer so it's about three quarters of an inch on either side and just make sure that that looks nice and straight on there and then I'm going to shut this slowly and then I kind of hold it down on the edges since this piece doesn't stick out from either side and just go ahead and slice that so now I have the two little diagonal strips that I can use for the inside of the card and it will go along with the card front so that's how I cut the paper for this card. So I'll set that aside and I'm going to bring in this vanilla piece for the inside and my smaller strip for the sentiment on the front. And so I am using the Easter Blessing stamp as well as the butterfly. And so for the sentiment, I'm using Evening Evergreen and since I'm going to be punching this out, I don't want to be too close to the edges. So we'll kind of stamp it just somewhere on our strip. So that's it for that color. And then I'm going to bring Flirty Flamingo in to stamp the little butterfly. And this one, I stamped it up in the upper right corner and if you didn't want to stamp on the inside, that's fine. You can just skip this part, but just ink up your stamp and press it down right in that corner. So that's it for the stamping. We'll set that one aside, and then I am going to bring in the double oval punch. So we'll open it up, and I'm using the smooth oval for the sentiment part. And so you can slide your little strip in here and just kind of line up your word so that everything is inside the oval. And once you're ready, just give it a punch. So there is that piece. I found that for the small oval, a strip that is at least an inch wide works really well, especially if you're going to use two different colors for the different ovals. For this particular card, I am using Very Vanilla for both. Um, but a one inch strip is good for that skinny oval or the smooth oval and then um, for the scalloped oval a one and a half inch strip works really well to slide it in and just make sure that you don't have any gaps showing and give it a punch and so we have that oval if you wanted you could punch out both at the same time and just have a bigger piece slide your paper in and punch out both ovals i'm just using up some of my scraps so that's why i had two different pieces for this particular one and now we can go ahead and assemble our card so i'll take the card base and fold it on that score line and then we'll press the edge with the bone folder and we can add our pattern paper to the front of it. So we'll bring in some seal and just run some seal on the back of our pattern paper. And we'll go ahead and center this on our card front. Just like that. And then with this little strip, I'm actually going to bring in the multi-purpose liquid glue 
and I want the diagonal stripe to be showing. So on the back side, I'm going to run some of this adhesive on it. And then this goes on the very bottom of our inside layer. And so with this liquid glue, it allows you to kind of slide your paper around just a little bit to get it lined up right where you want it. And then just give it a nice press down. So now I'll, now that I have the pattern paper on the bottom, I'm gonna flip it over, run some seal on the back of this one, and we'll add this to the inside of our card, just like that. And then for the sentiment, I'm going to bring in some dimensionals, and on the back of the one that we stamped on, I'm gonna pop two dimensionals, peel off the little backing pieces, and then center this on top of the other oval. There we go. And then I'm gonna flip that one over, add two more dimensionals, take off those backing pieces again, and then for this card, I thought the little sentiment piece looked best down here, so it doesn't cover up too much of the flowers. If you wanted, you could certainly put it in some different spots on the card. It's up to you. But I'll go ahead and pop it down in this corner. And then I'm going to bring in the brushed brass butterflies. And usually when I'm working with our adhesive-backed um, gems and sequins and things. I like to use the pointy end of the take your pick tool, but I was having a hard time lifting up the butterflies on here. So I know other people sometimes use the tacky end of the take your pick tool. So you can just kind of twist it a little bit to start pushing out some of that tacky stuff that's in there. And then all you do is come to the side of your little jewel, or in this case, the butterflies, and just kind of push it until it lifts off. So I'm gonna use a big one, and we'll pop one up in this left area, and then I'm gonna grab a small one, and we'll add a little one over here, and one more small one onto the little sentiment piece. And I had it so it peeked off the edge just a little bit. And you can just go ahead and press those down, make sure they're on there really nice and good. So that is the finished card using the Daffodil Afternoon paper. And if you cut the paper how I had shared, you would be able to get six cards with the same type of layout. But if you pull in all of the different designs from the paper pack, since there's 12 sheets, and if you cut them all in this fashion, you could get 72 cards. Now, I don't have all 72 done right here, but I am gonna show with you uh, some of the other patterns and what colors I used for the card base with them. So with this daffodil pattern, I used pale papaya for the base. With this one, with the daffodils and daisies, I used crushed curry for the base. This bright multi-flower one, I used flirty flamingo with the base. This one had a lot of those greens, so I went with evening evergreen for the card base. And then this one was just the yellows with the vanilla, but I thought it looked really well um, with the mossy meadow cardstock. And so here's the different, whoops, the different patterns from this set with um, some different colored card bases. So you could get just six from one sheet or up to 72 if you use all the different patterns in the set. And again, this paper is a free celebration item with a $50 order. And if you do the Daffodil Daydream bundle, that's priced at just over 50. So you would be able to get this bundle with the paper. Uh, since this bundle only has the two sentiments in it, I um, thought that it might be neat to add in the special moment set. 
So with this, there's all sorts of sentiments in it, and this is another celebration set that is available with a $100 order. So if you needed some other phrases besides just the Easter blessings or Happy Mother's Day, a $100 order would get you this set. And some of these are a bit bigger, so they won't necessarily fit on the double oval punch, but you could use some of the other label punches that we have, or even the circle dies, or uh, the stitched rectangles. Uh, there's lots of options in the catalog that could fit many of these phrases. And so you could play around with this paper, use any type of sentiment that you have, and whip up a whole big batch of cards. So that is all I have for you today. If you have any questions about this paper or about celebration, please feel free to leave me a comment or send me a message and I will help you out. I hope you have a great Wednesday. Thanks for watching.